keep doing my thing Before my life is over and my moment fade away Hey, good morning, and what is up, my buttercups? It is Amy, and... Yeah. Yes, my love. Mwah. Come to you, what day is it? Friday. Friday, Friday morning. Thank you, sweet Jesus, this week is over. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so, we were getting ready for school, getting our act together, got all dressed and ready, and now we're out in the car waiting for the bus. And, uh, yeah, yesterday was a real roller coaster ride, I'll tell you. And, uh, just hoping and praying today will be better, hopefully, hopefully. Jay, are we going to have a good day to bud? Little man, are you going to have a good day? Yeah. Yeah, promise. <sighs> know how much more of this I can take, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so, little dude. Want to tell me what the rules are, dude? You're handy with your hands in, or is he in the pen? And we use our, Where? not our, hand. and there is no, right here. and no, right here. and no, in your hand. and we keep our, and, and our, back, Yes, very, very good. Now listen, if you're hot today, you get hot today, relax. What are you shaking for? What are you shaking for, baby? Um, if you get hot, all you do, look, if you're getting hot and you're mad about it, look at me. Just tell them vest off. Say you don't want the vest on. Yeah. That's all. If that's if that's part of the problem and you're hot and sweaty. Just tell the teacher or tell Miss Jackie. Say best off. Yes, sir. Yep. So hopefully they'll listen to you. And hopefully you'll be okay today. I know yesterday when I got him home, man, it was so it's humid now too. Good lord. I mean, like, it's only like 73 degrees out, the news said. Feels like it's 90 out here already. I mean, the humidity is so thick, you can cut it with a knife. It is, ugh. Um, supposedly tomorrow, the humidity is gonna cut back a little bit. I hope so. Um, <clears throat> I don't, you know, like I said, the heat's one thing, but when this humidity kicks in, it just makes it ugly for everybody, especially us, because we don't tolerate our heat very well. I mean, I like when it's nice and warm out and sunny out and all that, but the, this humid, hot, icky weather, ugh. I think it's for the birds <laughs> and it's raining more rain I'm so tired of the rain I'm gonna have to go buy a canoe so uh, yeah we're gonna get this day started I got the work grind you got the school grind hopefully we'll have a very good day we can get through both of our days today you think I think we'll get both through our days today yeah problematic free yeah, yeah. okay let's hope so um, yeah, ironically, the, uh, counselor, the guidance counselor, I made sure I emailed her this morning and just to kind of reiterate and I said, just make sure you coordinate with him, you know, make sure you contact and reach out to him because I mean, I was kind of like edging on like, you know, wait, like don't just rely on everyone else to do your job. You know what I mean? So, um. Yeah, so, but it was funny. She didn't get back to me, and she said, I'll be sure to whatever it was, you know, about, you know, talking to him. And then no sooner I got that email, David reiterated on an email that I got CC'd on. And uh, he was like, yes, this is my days. I'm going to be available. This is when I would like to come out. Da, 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 da. So we shall see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I can't wait to see what the reaction of the school is going to be when he walks in there. My, my BSC worker, I have said before, he is a whole lot of BSC. He is got a very large personality and very heavy duty confidence in himself and his skills. And he knows it, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he coordinates, especially with the teacher, because the teacher, she's a great teacher, but she's very, very strong minded. Like she likes things done her way you know what I mean? And 
well, we had that discussion last night at the meeting because we've had a couple TSS workers in there and like every person we've sent in there, like she seems to have a problem with. There's, she picks apart something that's wrong or, you know, she doesn't like this or she feels they're interfering too much when they're there. Well, part of the TSS's position is to assist the student in doing their schoolwork and helping them through their day and this and other thing. And like any worker that we've sent in there, you know, she gets mad when they interfere and she's saying that it's distracting. And I'm like, you know what, that's counterproductive. I said, I don't know what the hell you, you're expecting here because you're asking for help, I'm giving you the help, and then you're slapping it away, you know? So, yeah, so it should be interesting because Dave is not what you would classify as a pushover per se. So, some of the TSS workers, sometimes they get very intimidated by her. So, uh, I kind of forewarned David about that. And he was like, oh, he said, Yo, get, don't worry about that. He said, that's going to... You know, we're, we'll definitely deal with that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. So, all right, we're going to get going. going to wait for this bus. And, uh, hey, guys. All right. So, yeah, just talked to the bus driver. And I asked her, I said, how was his morning yesterday? I said, when he took him to school, was he okay? She's like, Amy, he's been like an angel for like the last two months with no problem. She said, we had one small little incident and I told you about like last week and she said, other than that, she said, we've had no problems with him whatsoever. So definitely wasn't something that was triggered for the bus. So I guess that's good to know at least this time around. Hey guys, what is going on? All right. Well, we're coming to the end of the day and boy, was it a freaking day today. Let me tell you, you ever have like one of those days you think the universe just said you know what screw off <laughs> that's exactly how it's been today um jared had a good day so that was the plus of the day um however like between all the phone calls from yesterday today and all the conversations i had to have with a b c and d people um yeah i was getting ready to leave for work today my boss caught me aside and decided to write me up basically um I got written up basically for doing my job, which I, I still have not figured that whole thing out yet. Um, <laughs> basically, it's it, difficult to explain, but in our farmer's market in the mornings, it's not very busy. So they only schedule one single person, which guess who that is, uh, to run the whole damn farmer's market other than the deli until like 11, 1130 till the next person comes in. Well, in the process of trying to open the market, getting things straightened up, um, I don't know who works the night before, but they obviously don't do much of anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, I go in there, everything is empty. It, it has to be restocked. The drinks have to be restocked. This has to be restocked because no one did it the night before. And um, yeah, so... One manager is telling me to go back, get drinks, go do this, go do that when there's no one in the market. Well, rule number one, you don't leave the market alone, you know. And even when you tell the ma this particular manager, hey, there's no one else in the market. They're like, well, is there anybody else in the market? Is there anybody else coming in? And I was like, no, not until like 11. And then the next question is, well, is there any customers in the market? And I was like, not at the second they're like, oh, good, just run him back and do it. Okay. So I'm listening to one manager, and then the other manager writes me up because the first manager tells me to do something that I'm not supposed to be doing. Yeah. So to me, I, I would think the manager should get written up for that, but hey, maybe that's just me. Um, <laughs> but it started with that, and then on the way home, my car starts sputtering. Now, mind you, I have an 05 Kia. The dang thing is 13 years old. It don't owe me anything. I paid cash for it, like two grand for it. But it's my only mode of transportation. And on top of that, the mechanic that I normally use at wholesale, the wholesale automotive is now closed. So I don't even have a mechanic to get my car towed to if something goes wrong with my car. Um, yeah, so it started sputtering and I'm like, lovely. Went to go pick Jared up from school. Well, I have the one superintendent like greeting me outside to inform me that he spoke with his supervisor and is recommending other placement for my son now. 
And I was like, well, um, yeah, I didn't approve of any of that. So, I, yeah, none of that's going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. And he just kind of gave me this look like, oh, you know. I guess he was expecting me to bend over and take it like a woman. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so after dealing with that, speaking to the teacher over stupid authorizations, over freaking nothing, um, you know, I had to sign papers. I'm stuck in traffic with buses. The car is trying to sputter and run and, and die on me. I'm just like, you know what? This is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, so meanwhile, while signing off on all these authorizations and everything, I even mentioned to the teacher, I was like, oh, just to let you know from, like, all the other crap that's been going on, I got written up today at work. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? Obviously, there's no care about it, so whatever, you know. This, nothing changes. So then, we had to stop at the, my furniture store uh, because I purchased a sofa, and it's supposed to be like Ashley Furniture, which is supposed to be a very, very good type of furniture. Well, in the last year and a half or two years that I've had this sofa, it's under warranty. Um, yeah, the, the sofa's broken twice now. And I'm like... Well, first off, I said, I know my son can get rough on the furniture, but he knows better than to plop on the sofa. And the area of the sofa that keeps breaking is the back of the sofa and not on the bottom. So it's not from flopping. Um, I think it's just really crappy construction, to be honest with you. Um, so we had to stop there. And then from there, we stopped at an auto zone. And I had them do a code rating on my car, the Dynox and whatnot. And... Uh, my check engine light is still on, but it's still the same EVAP code that I've had before. It's because of a stupid gas cap sensor. Nothing big. But there's no other codes coming up except for oxygen valve or whatever. Nothing major. So I'm like, okay. So when I was talking to a guy, he said, well, you do realize he's like, you know, your car is like old, you know. And I'm like, yeah, I know. He's like, and with it being so hot and humid out and everything else, he said, it's possible... It just does not run very well in this heat. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So, um, yeah. So we did the, they did that. Came home. Uh, relaxed for about an hour. Went out, grabbed some grub for ourselves. I decided I want some Arby's tonight for a change. Yeah, that was not great. Come home and I was stuck on the toilet for like a half hour. And as I'm sitting there on the toilet, I look down. And I've got two inches of water in my bathroom. I'm like, what in God's green earth is going on here? Well, here, the drain pipe underneath my sink decided it was going to burst tonight. So now I have half of my damn bathroom emptied out in the boxes in the middle of the hallway. I've got water leaking out of underneath the vanity because there's obviously built up water under the vanity. How that happened, I'm not sure. Um, and when I called maintenance, maintenance is like, Oh, yeah, well, that's not an emergency. Just leave a bucket under there. We'll take care of it Monday. Really? I got to go the whole weekend with not even using my bathroom sink now. So, like, just now, my son had to go to the bathroom. He had to walk him into the kitchen to go wash his hands. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <sighs> so, it's just been one of those days. It's just one thing after another. And I'm like, <sighs> so... <laughs> Uh, I'm not even sure what to do with that at this point. I just feel like the universe is saying, Amy, screw you, go to sleep. <laughs> That's exactly how I've been feeling today. So, oh, God, I am definitely ready for bed. I am definitely ready to end this day. I'm done. I mean, it's like 9, 9.30 at night. I'm just ready to curl up into bed and just say, screw the day. You know, and just hope tomorrow will be better. I get to go out tomorrow night, so hopefully I'll get a couple drinks in me. Everything will be good. That's another thing. I wanted to get a bottle of wine. Never did that tonight. And I uh, just like, <laughs> uh, you get so upset about stuff like this and then you kind of laugh at yourself because you're like, you know what? It's almost ridiculous and obscure at this point. And it's just any other bad crap that could happen from this point on to the, until midnight. At this point, I got to just kind of laugh at it because I'm like, you know what? It, this kind of crap just does not happen to everybody. You know what I mean? This is the kind of luck, Murphy's Law luck that I end up having all the time. So, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm done. I am done for the day. So, uh, yeah, not been a great vlog day. Sorry I had to be a party pooper or whatnot, but I had to just, like, tell you how the, the rest of my day went. It was just one of those days I was like, you know what? Screw it. 
I went and got a shower, got myself all clean and dry and everything, and I'm just, I'm done. I'm ready for bed at this point. So, uh, yeah, not a very happy up and go lucky video, but, you know, be great if you give it a like, subscribe, and share, and all that great stuff. And, you know, the people that got the luck that I do, they'll probably get a comedy out of this. So, uh, y'all have a good night, and I will catch y'all later. I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things Before my life is over and my chance to take her wings Searching for a mission, life's